Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm once again Johnny B, but together we are Modeling for Advantage. So this is the third in our third, third in our little series Big of videos. Boxes. Uh, opening the new 10th edition start set. Yep. We've done the basic one. We've done the introductory set. Done the We've done the start here. set. Oh, the start here. Start, no, no, it is now the starter set. Now it's the Big Daddy. Right. This thing oh my days. weighs a lot. It, well, it is the ultimate starter it set. It is the ultimate starter set. It even says that ah! So this retails for £125. So we've got 40 65 and 120 So that is significantly more. So what does that mean? So I have big hopes. If you want, you only want this set if you know you want it. Right. Does that make sense? Almost like collectors, like you want the miniatures. Now, as you open it, 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 it is like packed. packed deep in plastic. That is because the scenery in here is the, the principal difference. Oh yeah. We'll get the sprues out and we'll show you pictures of the models as we do that, yeah? Let's do it. So, what's this one, John? So that Terminators. is the wonderful Terminators, which are monopose and all the stuff. What's that? Termigants! Woohoo! More termigans? More termigans than that? No. <laughs> it's a Tyranid Prime! And, and Space Maroon Captain. Space Maroon Captain. We covered these in a bit more detail already. Yes, go and have a look at the other ones. Uh, which is why I was doing that with that. Through. There's your flaming marines. There's your flaming marines, your Promethean marines, or whatever Infernus they call them. Furnace marines. What a Infernus surprise. marines. And what was this giant tick called again, John? Psychophage. The Psychophage. Okay. So they're all in the previous box. Yes. They're Fact. all in the £65 set. Yeah. So what do you get more you by get nearly extra. doubling going up to yeah. 125 Extra 60 quid, you get... This. What's that? It's the Terminator Librarian. It's the Terminator Librarian. With four sacks. With like, four sacks. Terminator librarians are supposed to have Fact, four sacks, yeah, aren't they? Old school. Nice one. Right. And then these fat boys. What are they? Are these are the... Well, you've got oh, two there. Oh, no, that's the Von Ryan's Leapers, which Von were Ryan's in the last Leapers, one. And then you've got the... The Barb Gaunts. They are actually called Barb Gaunts. How did they're you called, remember that? They're not called Barb Gaunts. No, Barb it's Gaunts. It's Gaunts. Um, Barb Gaunts. No Termagants. Barb Gaunts. There's there's no consistency in the. Uh, I thought it was termagants. Yeah. Or termagants and hormagants. And there's some gants and some gants. There's some gants and some gants. That's yeah, just a so fact. Barb gants. So this um, is an interesting unit. It is a long range indirect fire melee uh, shooter. Indirect, not melee. It's an indirect <laughs> shooter, <laughs> and it has a slowing effect. I think. Really? Just tangles you up. I think it slows you down. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So that's one of the things that's different about this. Then, uh, uh, some terrain. You know, so we've got you get one, one two, three, four, four bunker and four stockades. Four sprues of scenery, four and that stockades. is a good chunk of the weight. Yes. So the yes. S this is scenery that came out with what was sect called Sector from Terrace. Yes. Before, if you're looking for compatibility, Games Workshop scenery is expensive. That is where a lot of your money is going in here. Fact. That's a big uh, old waste scenery. chunk. And John's got some of this from before. I have. So we're able to show you some painting ones. Boom. Right. So the uh, what's it is doing oh. its job. Oh. The box topper, which protects the bits, the gobbins from the plastic, it's is seriously up. dinged up. Yeah. Did it do its job? Did it do its job? Let's have well, a look. The ubiquitous dice pack. Shall yes, we, in here see? you get. Oh, they've not upped it. It's still only ten it's dice. Still only ten. Okay. I thought there would have been more. Ten dice know, again. Not. They're all right. Bit more weight than a cracker dice. Yeah, they're all, they're okay in a nice little envelope. I don't like the fact that it's decimal rather than imperial numbers. Should be twelve dice. You want a dozen? I want a dozen. You yeah, give me six or twelve. Give me. Don't give me six and then ten. It was six in that starter set or intro was it set. Six. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Right. Mountain of bases, nice. as you would expect. 
Another decal sheet. Another decal sheet. It's the same decal sheet, though, I think. the same? Yeah. So this is the new, this is the 10th edition Space Marine decal sheet. Yep, same but different. Same but different. It's more exciting than uh, the 9th edition one. I, just, I, like, I like the collared bits that make them stand out. Yeah. It's not all black or white. No. There's a few coloured ones. I like it. Get your rulers. I like it a lot. Get your rule packet. Oh, it's in a little way. And then oh, the other thing. Whoa! Mm. You get a premium. Yeah, premium double. This this. It looks two like two here. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the size you play combat patrol on. Is two of these boards. Right. All right. And I know they do sell terrain packs, and the terrain packs are like 70, 80 quid to get two of these boards and a handful of scenery. Mm. So that's they're just they're just giving you. That's it's the same chunk, design though. as the two as paper, the paper ones, the but paper ones that we've seen, but in in decent quality. Double sided cardstock. as well, so you get the industrial and the outside. Well, bit. are we? Do you know what? I'd like uh, to think so. We're, you're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna check it out. Well, if we're gonna unbox it, I, I guess we're gonna these, unbox it. Cardboards. Do you want to see what's in that that envelope? Card? I just, I it's not a birthday it. card. Oh, it is. No, it's not. Let's have a look then. Yeah. Yes, still double sided. Slightly more matte. So you might even be able to see it now. So you've got this kind of industrial. mechanical industrial flooring on one side. This kind of desert barony on the other side. And times oh. two. And I always worry they're going to tear, tear the corners. So I'm just going to check it, that they are two different, that one slightly different designs. On. Yep. Same but different. It's exactly the two. It is exactly the, the two from the other previous. two sets that were paper. But in premium card. But in premium card stock. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, ooh, put this back. Good together. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck and what's in your envelope, John? No, envelope uh, sealed with a loving kiss. Thank you, Game Workshop. Yeah, leave that. Uh, this is different as you get what seems to be the core rules. Core rules. In a beautiful A5. So they're now a free PDF online. But, okay, but it's nice to have a book. Yes. Absolutely, and it's it's got the it's got the basic stratagems in. It's got it, it looks like it is exactly the same information as is in that free PDF, but you're actually getting that. They're not saying go away and read book. it. It's a book, and it's not too heavy. You can shove it in your rucksack, and take it with you. Okay, cool. It looks like we've got two little manuals here. One of the Marines and one for the Tyranids. It's a Tyranid reference sheet. We've oh. just got all of the units that are included. Mine in doesn't fold out like yours does. Have you not got that many units One, in two, here? One, two, three, four. Boss, boss. I've only got four Unit. units. Oh, well, I've got one that unfolds. It says the battle round. It's is got it, the sequence in it. Isn't like you're looking at the wine list. Right? Oh, yeah, you're going to have, yeah, a, yeah, gonna have the Shiraz. Give me a Chateau Nerf de Pap, please. <laughs> you just wanted to say Nerf de Pap, didn't <laughs> yes, you? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, yeah. The battle continues as well. So is that, I'm guessing that's some sort of continuation from previous or whatever after you've played through the training scenarios and missions in the book oh yeah because look there's a whole other book here idiot it, it, it's just telling you don't be afraid to experiment once yeah, you finish basically. the missions in the book same again look beautiful color coded absolutely so the two models that weren't in the other set then the space marine librarian yes and the barb gaunts yes and that was it, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, so tell me tell me about the Barb Gaunts as a kit. Barb Gaunts are actually pretty easy to put together. Right. They're four pieces. It, it, it does look complicated. It looks because complicated. Because it's layered, isn't it? It's push fit layered. But when you look at it, it's really not. You just attach one half of the torso to the predominant half. Yeah. Then you stick a leg in and then the arm, which looks hyper complex. It's got three points of contact. Yes. They were, I think they were the only things that I had a little bit of trouble with, but again, mm -hmm. not a lot. It's just getting the right angle. Sometimes you can yeah. mess it up. Yeah. So be gentle with them. Yeah. Although being push fit, at some point you do have to push really yeah. hard so you don't yeah. get a gap. True, true. Um, if you are gluing them and they're push fit and you, and you don't know this, just snipping the end off pegs gives you a yeah, bit a more wiggle bit. room. True. Gives you a little bit more room. I'm, I'm talking about a mil or two here. Not the full N no, length. No, no, because sometimes the peg is structural. You want a bit of the stability. You yeah, need a little exactly. bit of the peg. But just snipping a mill off the end gives you just a little bit more. So you're not like, yeah, really trying to, Having to, to avoid a gap. 
but they are really, I've said it in every video, but they are really well engineered. Mm. I didn't find any instances where it was particularly difficult when you did find the right angle, the right angle. to push it in. Yeah. It's more about the angles. But it, but it is the angles or something, that they're funny. Yeah, it's they're not linear, it's not... You've got to like try that, and yeah. visualise it. Um, and the, term, the Terminator Librarian then? Lovely kit. He's in a very small number of parts. Um, yeah, interesting pose. Got his hand out. Doing wizarding. With his wizarding, yeah. Yes. A, a love of the axe. And a lovely it's axe. Good. So again, quite iconic. You wouldn't want more than one of them. No. It's not going to do me for Nigel the Stormcaster as a Space Wolf. Unfortunately, no. No. But, nice. Big and stood on a tactical rock. I can't remember if he is. is Still on some tactical rubble. There? There's rubble so here. He's got rubble. No, your main man, the captain, the captain he's is, the one. He's on, he's on a plinth. He's on a whole Carnifex yeah. head. All right. Epic. So, what's, what's the difference between the two? Now, there's a bit of a gotcha here. This is Combat Patrol. If that wasn't clear, the Space Marine Force and the Tyranny Force in this box are Combat Patrols. Is that confirmed? This is it. This, if you go likely. to download the Combat Patrols, it's the PDF, this. it's this. Yes. Okay. And what that means is you need that you need that Space Marine Librarian. You need that Terminator Librarian if you've just got the basic kit. That doesn't mean you can't proxy it with a different model. But same with the with the Tyranids, the 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 barbell. That's the bit that takes you from that starter set to the Combat Patrol format. Right, and and this is very much set up for that. Hence, you've got Combat Patrol size right. board, Combat Patrol amount of scenery, and Combat Patrol so now is, is not just a box of miniatures. It's Combat Patrol a format in is itself, the, right? well, yeah. So it is the box of miniatures, but the rules have been adapted so that you're playing to, grit to give you some balance between them. Okay. Some of them have got more points in than others. Right. But what they do is that it then is they've stripped away some of their army rules and given them less options and things like that. Okay. As a way of balancing one set against another. I'm not saying it's balanced, mm. but they've they, they've had a go at it. Okay, so that's interesting. So as a true kind of starting in 10th experience that's going to take you from zero to cooking on gas, this is the better choice if you don't already have these things because that is a, an authorised format to play. It's not a 2,000 point game, but you've got the scenery you need, yep. you've got the army size you need, you can actually go and play third parties with what you've got, which the problem with a lot of starter sets is they kind of leave you nowhere. They get they teach you the game, but then what do I do with exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. But yeah. you could you could rock up at your local club and say, "Do you want to play? Let's play some let's combat, play combat patrol. patrol," and you would have everything that you need Two to do that. Forces. Okay, yeah. Right now, the rule book is in here, even though it's there, there as a PDF. And maybe they will change over time. So, with a price point of 125 you said? I think if you want the boards and the scenery. That alone costs that That alone would cost that difference. Pound that, extra. That's, yeah, yeah. The, extra models, the, the extra models are nice. But this is not a collection builder. This is... No? This is... Uh, well, you it's know, two combat patrols in yeah. a box. But if you can afford it... Yes. You know, I, I don't think it's unreasonable. I really don't. I like the fact that it's scenery from an existing set. So in my box of this, John's already got this scenery. Yep. That's just building on. That's just building on, on to an existing scenery set, which is good. And it means that it will hopefully be available into the future. But it's not, it's not for everyone, this, I don't think. You really would need to want a board to play Combat Patrol on. Yeah, if to you, get the best if, value. Sort if of you want that. Otherwise, just get the other one. Just get the, the £65 one. Pound one, yeah. Mm. Absolutely. If you just want the miniatures, that's much better value. Mm. All right, guys. I hope this was useful to you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed what you'd seen, why don't you come check us out on modelingforadvantage.co.uk. There's loads of different ways you can support the channel over there, including merch, that kind of stuff.
Thank you.